Hey everybody, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil and it's time to talk more Rick and Morty. And we are at the season finale of season four already. And we're getting a nod to Star Wars in the title. Now I don't know, that's probably all it's going to be is a nod in the title without any real Star Wars riffing, which is a shame because you may have noticed I'm a bit of a Star Wars nerd, but... And, and, and I feel like Royland and Harmon would have a lot to say on the subject. Nevertheless, I'm just, I'm just happy that there's a nod. And this is Star Mort Return of the Jerry. So we managed to squeeze three names into the title this time. Um, we're going Return of the Jedi. So is there a redemption arc here? Is, are there Ewoks? Are we going to destroy the second Death Star? Or are we completely red herring it and going in a completely different direction? I have no idea, but I'm eager to jump into it. Yeah, we're already here. End of season four, episode 10, Star Mort, Rick Turn of the Jerry. Or would that be Jerry? Oh. Could be course on. Get us out of here. I'll hold them off. My name is Beth Smith. Oh. Tell your top bugs that defiance lives on. I will. I will. Beth is out in the universe. Blade Smith. Beth it is the clone. Smith. Beth, Beth, Beth Smith. Okay, God. It's just such a plain... I am so sorry. Um, uh, oh, God. Start to... By Zamazax in partnership with Wrangler Jeans, the NX-5's industry-leading tachyon beams eliminate planets twice as fast as the NX-4S with half the battery and zero built-in fatal design flaws. So if you do go back, what happens to the clone? Does it have, like, a proximity-triggered device in its neck? Who cares? Yeah. Are we done? Sure. Unless you want me to remove the proximity-triggered device from your neck. What? Think it's a bomb? Man, what if this is how you found out he never wanted you back? Crazy would that be? Crazy and, of, of course, soul-crushing. <laughs> so wait. She's suicide squatted, and she's the real Beth, and she can't come back? Maybe? Okay. I love therapy. Family therapy, most of all, but... I am actually disintegrating. Oh, oh my God. God! Is that really it? We did it? The invisibility belt. Thanks, Morty. Why should I let you use it? You never let me use it. Can I have the belt? It would really piss off Morty. Fantastic idea. What the hell? <laughs> you jerk! Give it! <gasps> hey, Ow. share the invisibility. Garage, family therapy mode. <laughs> Lockdown. Uh, no more pickles. Oh. Here. Honey, you're back. And never exploded? What I'm hearing is that you think that's a bomb. Let me up a reason not to kill you. Dad, we're off to Dr. Wong. Scan her. Okay, have fun, pumpkin. Sorry, I'm a piece of shit father. Oh, <laughs> well, the self-loathing buys a lot back. The device in her neck would have transferred a database of her memories to your device before vaporizing her. So much for that plan. Why is she... If she ran back to that dingleberry, that's on you. Want to grab a drink? All the time. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> to catch a predator. What the hell? Thermal goggles, bitch. Mom said share. You can't share invisibility. <laughs> so I'll just see you at cheerleader practice. Should I bring a poncho? Very cool. My daughter, having space adventures. They are skewing a tad Star Wars-y, though. Not a competition. Of course not. Just curious, though, if it were, would most wanted be first place? <laughs> You're fighting the Gromflamites? Dad, they're trying to take over the galaxy. Everybody in the galaxy tries to take over the galaxy. The, the new Galactic Federation will blow up the planet unless some woman with a very boring name gives herself... Oh, come on. Way to give a shit. Oh, shit. They're going to track down Beth. You mean Beth's clone. Right. Beth's clone. What, what did I say? <laughs> Awkward. It really was nice seeing you again. You're a monster! Still want to share? Morty Smith, hands up. You are under arrest for crimes against the new, improved Galactic Federation. Wait, what? How are you doing that? Do you have psychic powers? Uh, yes. You can't, like, stop our hearts, can you? 
I can. Okay, we surrender. <laughs> You're being crazy. They do it in therapy on TV. What TV gives British people prizes for baking, Jerry? <laughs> oh, Tammy? 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 Hi, Mrs. Smith. Tammy. As much as I'd like to kill you, my superiors have some questions about the defiance. I don't have a. I have a defiance? Oh, God, I'm a clone. Tammy, this is the office where my family works to better itself. What, and that makes it sacred? No, it makes it a place I've rigged with a lot of voice-activated escape contingencies. <clears throat> These are all good points. I need to take a long look at myself. <laughs> I don't discuss that. I don't discuss problems. I incinerate them. Everybody in so the car. So Tammy's dead. Everybody in my family, not the world. Jesus, Wong. Boundaries. Boundaries, Wong. I'm better than this job. <laughs> you told me I wasn't a clone. You're not a clone. And who is that? Uh, uh a clone? <laughs> I love that we're doing this, though. But then I thought, well, you, you know what would be even cooler? Is a space daughter? So I made one. And I put a bomb in her neck in case she ever came back. Father of the year. She wasn't supposed to come back. Why did she? Well, she found a bomb in her neck, wouldn't you? Father of the year. Shut up! I want to talk to her. No, you don't. Jerry, do something! Hey! Hey, that's all I do is say hey. You're the clone? Wow, naive and attractive. Wow, jaded and hot. Wait, so there are two of them. More importantly, which one is mine? Uh, neither, chauvinist. Whatever, <laughs> get them both. Let's bargain. I'm the one you really want. Excuse me? Uh, smartest man in the universe? My bosses are bugs, Rick. They know if you're left alone, you're... A non-threat. Oof, huh? You might want to do that thing where you find a new universe where you can suck yourself off. You can't tell me what to do. Awesome. He resisted. We can shoot him. What? Just go with it, Jerry. Everybody, drop your guns. Except for Jerry. Fucking classic. <laughs> Fucking Jerry. <laughs> classic Jerry. It's just like a video Holy game. shit, Morty. And Summer. We, we work together. That's that's our art. We went from siblings to invisible to working together. That's our art. Citizen Kane, but why compete with whatever's going on here, you know? You made me go to a wedding. Now she's dead. And you dead. killed my best friend. I should have said that one first. The NX-5, brought to you by Wrangler. Uh, uh, come on, kids. We have to go do a fucking piece of shit Star Wars. <laughs> Stand down. Oh, am I not a non threat now? <laughs> We're doing a Star Wars. I have to pee. Pee on the floor. It's a Death Star. Okay, but there's rebellion and then there's. Here, Dad. Perfect. I'm gonna rescue your mom and her clone without revealing which is which. You two find the NX-5 and shut it down. I mean, don't die trying. There's infinite Earths. If you can save this one, it's gravy. Yeah, we're like Luke and Leia. Uh, except no kissing part. What's another famous brother-sister? The uh, Hansel and Gretel? Yeah, right. Those two were fucking. <laughs> Those two were fucking. We don't need invisibility. Working together is our belt. Oh. That's our arc. Let's do it. Oh, I'm gonna God. go ahead and whistle. That's how good I feel. They're fucked. <laughs> oh, God. I knew it. Ugh, this floor isn't level. I know the only goddamn dream you'll ever follow is your shitty father's approval. You fetch your shitty father's lemonade. You cosplay as your shitty father in his 30s. <laughs> Screw it, Beth. If, if one of you is still alive, you're my real daughter. If you're both alive, don't hurt the other one. She's just a clone. She's not worth it. I'm coming, baby. That piece of shit. shit. <laughs> I came back to kill him, you know. I'd like to help. Third person. It is Stop. now Phoenix person. What did they do to you, PP? He's been Vader. It is now PP. Where is Tammy? Oh, don't worry about her. I killed her. Jeez. Working together is our belt. You gave it away. You said we didn't need it. I wish you were never born. Well, you were an accident. <laughs> How come some of the pants are... The NX-5 can't destroy Wrangler jeans. Like it... Brought to you by Wrangler. destroy them, or it's programmed not to. <laughs> you kill good bug for a horse doctor. Thanks. Me? Hey, over here! Look at me! Did you just see a pantsless little boy run by? I'm not falling for that again. Get him! But not in a weird way. You made it weird. 
NX5 corporate sponsor detected. Cannot penetrate Wranglers. <gasps> Bill, too tough. Bill, too tough. <laughs> I killed him. I did, I did it off screen. God damn it, Morty. Fix your underwear. I saw your balls for a second. That's on you. Why can't I meet your parents? Are you embarrassed of me? No, of them. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought this was how I'd die. We're nowhere near Venice, and you're not a dwarf in a raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a premonition. Killing him till we kick his ass, bird person. <laughs> bird person, stop! It's me, that Tammy girl. Tammy. Oh my this God, Jerry's gonna save the day. I'm more alive than I've ever been. Uh -huh. You are behaving rather strangely. Let me give you some of this sweet ass. <laughs> He's got Save an off the day switch. With puppeting. Only one with a decent arc. He does have his moments. You jerk offs ready to get the answers to your burning questions? What's this, Dad? The memory of which Beth is real and which Beth is a clone, oh, okay. obviously. You mind blew yourself? You, you, you literally don't even know which of your daughters is real. Wow. Of course you don't. Why am I surprised? You're a piece of shit either way. So what, after all this, you don't want to know the truth? The oh, truth you... is we have more important shit to do, like raise our kids and stamp out the Federation, neither of which seem like they want anything to do with you. Morty, some some. Don't drag us into your bullshit just because you're losing control. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we still find out. I know what I want to do. I want you to decide. What? Do you oh. want me to stay here and be part of your life, or do you want me to leave? Ho ho! Big money, big money. Eyes on the lady. Switch <laughs> We literally have no switch. idea. Holy shit, I'm a terrible father. Looks like it's just you and me, buddy. Alright, we'll give you a little more time. <clears throat> Slow down, there's an invisible garbage truck in the road. Yeah, right. I'm alive! I survived! Invisible garbage truck, Jerry. <laughs> it's a new franchise. <laughs> what the what, what the what, 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 <laughs> Somebody call for a pickup? Let's go take out the trash. Invisible garbage truck, Jerry. It's a new franchise. Until he runs out of gas. <laughs> God damn it. Well, we had a good run. I, I was wondering whether we'd ever learn more about Beth's choice from the start of the season. And we kind of did. She wanted to leave it up to Rick, and and Rick's a terrible father. One of them's the clone. He honestly doesn't know which one. Which is such a... I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a Schrodinger's box. A Schro it's like a Schrodinger's cat of personality. It, it, the... the philosophical discussions that could be had about this show are mind-blowing. Uh, I, I wouldn't even know where to start, but but the fact is, is like, you know, one, theoretically, they're, they're, they're not just biological clones. They've got the same memories. We saw the graphic of him, of, you know, we, we can assume Rick gave them the exact same memories and personality and, and everything, and sent one of them off to space and the other one happily stayed home. So it's almost as if Beth was like properly torn between the two options. And by having two of herself, she was able to satisfy both needs. And now that she's met herself, she can continue to do so. She's, she seems fulfilled. I honestly don't like when Jerry saves the day. Even if it is in the most inept way possible, because he's just such a deficient character. But I get that this show, like, this show purposely slaps down the audience every so often and says, what, you thought there was going to be a message, you idiots? No. So 
it, it just does whatever the heck it wants and and we're 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 the dumb ones for caring and trying to read too much into it you know we 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 had all sorts of fun with going meta this time you know it's like you know the kids going we we learned to work together that's our arc and you know the teamwork is our belt and you know it turns out jerry's the only one that had a real arc and yeah i just <laughs> this show we we went we went proper star wars we we created our own version of the the death star and the empire and and rick hates star wars he says we yeah, you know we're, we're star warsing it you know apparently he went through his 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 rebel hero phase as well um back in his 30s or something i don't know man this show. The, the tone of this show shifts so drastically, so quickly. And, and that's clearly the identity of the show. And, and, and we accept it and we take it. But, but if, you, if you step back and go, let's look at some of the things that happened to this episode. It's kind of insane. We stopped a planet-killing laser with a pair of Wranglers. But not before that, that, that laser killed a good chunk of earth but not not some of their pants so we're living on a planet that that it, that just partially got destroyed by an alien race then jerry saved the day with dead tammy phoenix person nay bird person has a literal off switch but he seems invincible but we're keeping him alive in the garage. Then we have this like really important sort of poignant denouement in the garage at the end of the episode where the Beths don't want to know. Jerry and the kids are really happy that there's two Beths, so they aren't going to play Rick's game that Rick's playing just because he's starting to lose control. Rick has this really kind of poignant moment in the garage where he, he watches this memory because he, he literally wiped his own memory of the incident. But the, the memory tells him nothing because, well, he, because he still doesn't know. He never knew which, which one is which. Um, and he comes to the realization that he's a terrible person. And we could have ended the, the episode there. And we kind of did end the episode there. But then we come back in the in the post credit scene. And we get the stupidest, silliest little, little bit. Jerry in the invisible garbage truck. Just to like say all, all that, all that like heavy, poignant kind of down ending that we just had. Ignore it because we can laugh at Jerry the idiot who doesn't know how to fill up an invisible garbage truck with gas. Um, <laughs> it's it's the writers. Part of it is the writers laughing at the audience, saying, "We're going to make you feel things, and then we're going to tell you that the things you feel are pointless." And irrelevant and wrong and then we're gonna make you feel new things next week and you're gonna and then we're gonna negate those feelings that those new feelings as well it, it's it's writers showing off is what it is it's like look what we can make you do and then look at us take it away from you look at us beat you you know laugh at you for feeling the way you do yeah, it's it's really just kind of a tour de force. It's 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 writers showing off. That that's the best way to explain it, I think. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. I, I'm, I always have a good time in the middle of an episode of Rick and Morty, but afterwards, I'm always confused and a little bit hurt and sad that I've been lied to and sad that it's over. And I spend too much time thinking about what I've just seen. 
And I also know that they're, that Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon are laughing that I'm thinking about it so hard because they literally just told me it means nothing. That's, that's my weekly experience of watching this show. And I have to applaud them for it. You know, it, it's like when you get beat by your, your nemesis and, you know, they're your enemy. They, they stand for everything that you hate and vice versa. But when they pull one over on you, you just kind of have to step back and applaud and go, kudos, you win. Justin Roiland, Dan Hartman, and you guys win. Congratulations on another stellar season. Season four was a wild ride. I can't wait to see what the overarching story of season five turns out to be. We'll uh, be back with the premiere of that season next week, so I'm excited to jump into that. And until then, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.